Uh, some of you have seen the video I made about alchemy and jiu-jitsu, the calcination, the process of like burning yourself and your ego away through this. So this isn't like a spirituality talk or anything like that. It's just a mindset that you can use in training, okay? So traditionally, um, you can think of an alchemy or um, in like Chinese medicine, all sorts of things that are five of primary elements, right? You've probably heard before, earth, wind, fire, water, uh, wait, what is it? Earth? Wind, oh, air is what I meant. Fire, water, and, and void. And so you can use these as, anal you can use them to analyze all sorts of things. Right now we're gonna use them to analyze martial arts and then jujitsu. Generally, I think of air, you know, as being light, right? Flowing around things, you, you get the idea. I'm not gonna uh, beat a dead horse here. But so Kyle's throwing a punch, different arts treat this differently. So if he's here, for instance, like Bob Water, Chinese martial arts might come into something like that. Uh, other Japanese styles might come in and approach the same thing, but I'm going to move around and move into a wrist lock and do the same Right, I'm just kind of moving around. Fire, generally, I think of it as it's hot, it's fast, it's sharp, it's, it's more aggressive. And so if he throws the same punch, then we're looking at boxing things that move a little bit faster. Or to take uh, another Chinese approach, right? There's lots of things you can do. It's just a different way of approaching the same thing. Jiu-Jitsu, I tend to think of this being more like what? It crashes, but then it flips, right? Earth just crashes and crushes and smothers. So Jiu-Jitsu, right, we crash and close. So he throws this, we crash and move around and go into our takedown. Or we crash and we move into something else. There are other arts still that just crash, right? The, the earth, and, and that's what I tend to think of something like Prop God, very straight line, so he comes in here and boom. Or like old Marine Corps like style line training where he's here, and I'm just gonna try to snap this thing. That wouldn't actually work. <laughs> but but and a lot of these things probably wouldn't, but again, it's just the idea. So you can take this idea and apply it to jujitsu when we're rolling, and that's what we're gonna do tonight. And say, for instance, uh, if he's trying to put his hand on me and I want to play this light, sort of airy game, so go ahead. I'm just gonna move around and take the back four. Let's come down here. We go to this sort of thing. He's probably seen this before, right? He pushes up on me. I'm not just going to float around him and move into something. Those of you that have gone with me have probably run into that kind of situation. You probably run into the Earth situation with me, too, where we're in here and you just go ahead and move around. Boom, and I'm just hanging out and getting that and you're getting crushed by the Earth. The air's moving out. I can also do the same thing as me, right? Water's like. A little bit of earth, right? We crash, it's heavy. You should still be drowning, but I'm not just straight pinning you to the ground. So if we're here and he's moving around, I can still float, I'll still be a little bit heavy. Sometimes I get this heavy for him as we go. Okay? So it's a little bit different. And then fire generally, let's go ahead and come up, is my more aggressive, you know. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and stand. I tend to think of this and stand up a lot. Fire, for instance, we're here, we're moving, and it's this drill that we've been doing before. We're really snapping the person down to get them into some kind of lock. Earth, stand up, would be maybe heavy. And I'm waiting for you to make a mistake until I can maybe just point that. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense so far? So, what we're going to do, uh, let's actually just have uh, earth, air, water, fire, earth, air, water, fire. Every single round, you're just going to move one down the list. Whoever you pair up with, you're going to make, don't tell them. Just make sure you know what your element is and try to play that way. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Find a hard one.